So at East Point judge forced to change his stance, what he's being ordered to do after sending people to jail if they couldn't pay their fine. It tops our news at 530. Judge Carl Gerds has become very well known for his practice of what's called pay or stay. That means people who can't pay their court fines are sent to jail until they can. Well, many, including the ACLU, say the practice they believe is unconstitutional, and they took the judge to court. Well, now the judge has been ordered to stop doing it. Priya Mann live tonight. And Priya, this is really a big victory for the ACLU. Absolutely, and this is the stipulation order forcing Judge Gerds to stop the practice of pay or stay sentencing, and it also tells the judge to find alternatives if a person is too poor to pay. This is a huge win for the ACLU. We're very happy. Um, we think the time of the new debtor's prison is coming to an end. The ACLU had been monitoring East Point Judge Carl Gertz for the past year and a half. They say it became routine for people who couldn't afford to pay a ticket to be sentenced to jail, in some cases for jaywalking or driving without insurance. If you have a job and you go to jail, you're going to lose that job. You might lose your apartment because you can't pay your rent. And if you don't have a home, you might lose their ki your kids. Then there was the case of Donna Anderson. The single mother was ticketed for not having a dog license. The East Point woman has two children, lives in Section 8 housing, and receives public assistance. She could not afford the $455 ticket. Anderson could have gone to jail if the ACLU hadn't appealed her case. We never should have had to spend the resources to put an end to illegal payer stay sentencing. This is something that the U.S. Supreme Court had ruled on in 1983. On Tuesday, Judge Gerds was ordered by the Macomb County Circuit Court to end the practice. We do give him credit now, though. He has changed his ways, and we hope that other judges will follow in his footsteps and uh, put uh, the new debtor's prison uh, in the dustbin of history where it belongs. And a judge is required to assess a person's income and assets, whether they're on public assistance. And if somebody is too poor to pay, a judge has to find some alternative means, whether that's community service or reduced fine. Reporting live from downtown Detroit, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. And Priya, what about the attorney? What did the attorney for Judge Gerds have to say about all this? Well, I did reach out to him. He gave me a statement. I'll read you a small portion of that. He said, I agree to the circuit court order. All parties are hoping the Michigan Supreme Court will change the Michigan court rules to allow that the criminal defendants who cannot afford to pay be allowed time to pay their fine and costs. Now, it's not clear when the Michigan Supreme Court would rule on that. All right. We'll be following Priya Mann reporting live tonight. Thank you, Priya.